John Lusk here, Lusk Archery Adventures, series testing, successful hunting. I've got a new broadhead to test here today. It's by Zing Archery, and this is called their Harvest Broadhead. I never even heard of Zing Archery, okay? I never heard of Zing Broadheads until a, a viewer uh, pointed them out to me. And it turns out they're, they're based in Iowa, where I lived for a number of years before moving here to Texas. And so I was really eager to test these out. I reached out to them uh, and they sent me a pack of these. And so today I'm gonna be testing them and I'm gonna use my protocol for 2023. And for uh, a detailed description of that, please watch the video. Uh, it's called 2023 Broadhead Test Process. Or you can read about all my tests in the description below each video. You can find all my discount codes for various broadheads there as well to, to save some extra money on some of them. But uh, but today I'm going to be putting this one to the test using my Bowtech CP28 set at 72 pounds, 27 inch draw. And I'm using a Bishop FOC King Eros for most of the shots, but then the really hard impact ones, I'm using the Bishop Fad Eliminators. All right, let's zoom on in here and check out some of the design features and specifications and then put this Zing Harvest to the test. Here's a good look at this 200 grain beast of a broadhead. Man, there's a lot to like about this design. First of all, the materials. The, uh, the ferrule is made out of a 1045 stainless steel, and the blades are made out of a 420 J2 stainless steel brought to a Rockwell hardness of 50, and they're 0.046 inches thick, so decent thickness to them. You notice that they're single bevel sharpened uh, all around on the back as well as the edges, and they tell me that the the angle is 20 degrees which is a pretty slight angle for a, for a single bevel head usually a lighter more gradual bevel like that is going to make them a little more prone to, uh, to 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 edge chatter as well as it's not going to peak the rotation but we'll have to see how that pans out and then uh, you notice that it's got this concave design to it and that's just to aid in penetration decreases surface area over if it was just you know straight like like that and the blades come back a bit for that same reason decreases a bit of surface area to aid in flight forgiveness as well as penetration and you notice it has a tanto tip here as well to give it a little extra width and durability so a lot to really like about this head especially that big wide inch and a half cut and then the uh, the, the 200 grains to it now sometimes with a curved edge they can be a challenge to resharpen but stay sharp guide makes a really nice sharpener uh, called their C sharpener and that's for any curved surface any concave or any convex broadhead use the stay sharp guide C sharpener and it would make sharpening this just just quite easy so really eager to put this head to the test and see how it performs Wow, it only took 125 grams of force to cut through the wire. That's a 10 on a 10 point scale. It penetrated seven and a half inches. It took an extra 75 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is an 8.5 on a 10 point scale. It penetrated through 61 layers. It rotated 12 degrees at 11 inches of penetration. And that's really low. And that's largely due to the really gradual bevel angle as well as wide cutting diameter. It held together perfectly well through the three shots into the MDF. Here it is after the two shots through the steel plate and the head held together fairly well. There's no significant damage. There is uh, a bit of edge chatter there, as you can see, and uh, the tip did get broken off the very end of the tip. And that's just due to the steel as well as the gradual bevel angle. And the holes are nice and wide, not much of an S cut to them. They're not generating much rotation, but still a, a nice hole just the same.
So here it is after all the durability tests, and as you can see, it held together quite well. It was perfect through the MDF. The steel plate, it got a, a little bit of a, of edge chatter there. The center block, it did really well, stuck in there. Uh, the blade got a little bit loose. Let's see, can you see that, that movement there? Yeah, it got a bit, well, quite a bit loose. <laughs> it, it got loose there. Um, but, oh, and the tip got uh, bent down. I don't know, that could have been when I'm using that, that angled chisel to get it out, so I'll, I'll give it credit for that, but it held together really uh, overall very well. So what'd you think? Man, I tell you what, for uh, this price category to get this big of a single bevel two blade head, uh, man, it did pretty well, okay? It, it really didn't have a great weakness, again, in its price class. You know, if, if you want to spend a lot more, you can get a bit uh, higher quality steel, but it, it performed relatively well. So check out the score sheet and see how it did in the areas that matter to you the most and see if this might be a good fit for you. And stay tuned for the, uh, the overall total score and then the corresponding Lusk grade. <laughs>